Hello, good morning and welcome on this beautiful winter morning. Today we're going to take a look at some winter silhouettes of trees. Winter silhouettes are most of, uh, one of the most important features in trees because they're without leaves for five months. So you see it a lot of times, more than the flowering or the autumn coloration. So we're going to take a look at some very nice trees with those silhouettes. We're standing here with Carpinus betulus columnaris, not to be confused with Carpinus betulus vestigeta, because this one grows much more slowly, only about 5-6 cm per year. That's why you get a very dense, uh, well-branched crown. This tree can grow uh, as well in uh, very wet soils and, and in quite dry soils too. It's very suitable for small gardens because it will take about 50 years before the tree gets to uh, 7 to 8 meters height. So it's very suitable for a smaller garden. January and February are the ideal months to take a look in our nursery. So if you are a green professional, please contact our sales uh, team. They're very eager to show you around in the nursery and inspire you with a lot of uh, nice trees that we have uh, standing here. Here we stand in a row of very nice Betula pendula jungi, or in English the Young's Weeping Birch. Uh, these Specimens are quite uh, mature already, usually it's a lot uh, smaller. They're very suitable uh, for a smaller garden. And as you can see, the winter silhouettes are beautiful. Uh, they can grow well also on uh, quite dry, sandy soils. Betula pendula jungi. Right here I'm standing to uh, a very nice specimen of uh, Phalodendron amaranthus or the emu cork tree. Uh, this tree originates from uh, the northeastern uh, part of uh, Asia. Manchuria, Mongolia, so it's uh, very winter hardy and uh, it has a very beautiful cork growing on the trunk when the tree, tree gets more uh, mature. Um, as you can see on this uh, specific one, you can still see the old uh, flowers that uh, had been hanging in the tree, so uh, they make it uh, extra beautiful. Phalodendron amaranthus. We're standing here at a nice plot with some Metasquia eglyptostrobius Sheridan spire. Uh, the difference with the normal Metasquoia is that this one has a more columnar upright uh, crown, as you can see, the name says it all. Uh, a very strong, healthy tree uh, that you can use for streets, for parks, for avenues. Uh, it doesn't have uh, any pests or disease that uh, can attack it. A very good, healthy tree. Metasquoia Sheridan Spire. We're standing here in a row with a species that most of you won't know, and that is uh, Trochodendron aralioides. This is um, a species that comes from the mountain areas from Korea and Japan. It's an evergreen shrub. Um, it's quite winter hardy, uh, as you can see, all year green. And uh, you can also see the old flowers standing in the, in the shrub uh, over here. The flowers are green-yellow in um, in uh, April, uh, May. Quite a strong tree, very nice one. We're standing here at the plot with uh, Parotia persica from different seed sources. So every seed source has its own growing characteristics, as you can see. Um, the nice thing of Parotia is that it uh, flowers on its uh, bare uh, branches in February, March with uh, very uh, purple red flowers which gives a very spectacular sight. Um, also the, tra the trunks are very spectacular in the winter time. One of the most uh, characteristic winter silhouettes is that of uh, Carpinus betulus pendula, as you can see here. They have a very nice row standing of them. Um, they're grafted uh, on a height of 2 meter 50 and they form like a big natural umbrella. In the winter you can look through the branches, but in the summer they form a quite dense screen. Standing at the field with only clipped Vegas sylvatica in different uh, forms. We have beehives, we have uh, columns, we have uh, wedding cakes and bonsais. The nice thing of uh, Vegas sylvatica is when you clip it every year, the, uh, the old leaves stays on the tree in the winter time and it is pushed off by the new leaf in the springtime in uh, April. So then the tree is one week without leaves and then the new fresh leaves are on the week after. 
Thanks again for watching this video. See you next time. Bye bye.